Heavy's Hall of Fame. Joining passenger T's into the heavyweight hip hop world Hall of Fame is one man that has proven that he's truly dedicated to the growth of Nigeria's music scene. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle your seatbelts as we take you on a journey into the world of one of Nigeria's first ever DJs. Born in Lagos, Nigeria on July 18, 1968 to late Major J.E.O. Omage, an international referee, and Mrs. Esther Omage, a businesswoman based in the United Kingdom, Benjamin I. Omage, an indigent of Edo State, is one of the first renowned jockeys. Formerly called Austin Lee, Benjamin Omage first changed his name to Grand Master Lee, principal of the old school, then later caught it to GML. The Grand Master Lee attended Army Children's School Darden Barracks, Hosi College, Wari, before he moved to the Metropolitan College, Isolo. His education continued at the University of Benin, where he studied mass communication. In a quest for knowledge, he later went to School of Journalism in Lagos. Describing himself as truly devoted to the Nigerian entertainment industry, in the early 80s, he went to the UK and the US to perfect his act of DJing and presentation, after which he came back to work with the first ever FM radio station in Nigeria, Radio Nigeria 2, Metro FM 97.6, for 15 years. He also presented the famous entertainment program Solid Vibes on DBN and MITV between 1995 to 2004. I was the first Nigerian DJ to bring in the professional turntables called the XL1200 MK2 to Nigeria. Quite expensive. How much paid back then? Equipment? I was really fighting making Nigerian music get into the map. And my colleagues like JJ would say to me, what are you doing with Nigerian music? I said, don't worry, one day it will be recognized. I kept putting everything that I have into putting Nigerian music forward and helping the Nigerian DJs. In a bid to channel his love for music, in 1996, GML organized a talent hunt called Street Jams for upcoming DJs. In his pursuit for new acts, he discovered DJ Snoop the Damager, DJ Waxy, DJ Midas, and DJ Humility, amongst others. Having won so many awards outside the country, Grand Master Lee with Joy tells us of other industry people that have gained from his knowledge. We're talking about Kenny Okungbe, which of course, he gives him my respect. Steve Cadbury the Sleek. Jimmy Jacks is there. DJ T. DJ Abaz in London. Most of the big names you hear today, most of them. Achievements? So, my greatest achievement is that I've been able to make people become somebody. Remembered? Well, I want to be remembered for, for all the good things that I've done. And on behalf of each and every Nigerian, you are indeed an icon. God bless you. I want to say thank you to Hip Hop Awards. Nice one. This is long overdue. Thank you so much. God bless you, and I'll keep doing the good job. Heavy's Hall of Fame. We also will be rewarding the man who has made a mark in the print media and also being the creator and founding coordinator of some award ceremonies in Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you a man who pioneered the real essence of writing and driving a change in the Nigerian entertainment industry. He is Femi Akintunde Johnson. My friends call me Fudge. Interestingly, this writer and graduate of English studies from the University of Joss, Plato State, started off his career in September 1988 as the entertainment editor and staff writer with the Punch newspapers Ikeja. Born to Mr. Ijide John and Mrs. Ashiawu Miriam Akintunde, Fadge tells us a bit about his background and growing up years. I was born in Ireland, Okesuno. Uh, I think the first primary school I went to is uh, St. Paul. I came almost to the uh, second to the last, and they realized that uh, I wasn't reading. 
He was just bored, play, watching this, going to feel nothing. So, because I came almost last, they took me, I had to start again. So I had to start again in Butemeta. It's called the Jero Baptist School. He didn't start his university education immediately. He left secondary school because he had to work to sustain an income to see him through the higher institution. The best column in, in, in Punch is on Saturday. It's called Saturday High Life. It's an entertainment. It's a spread in the late 70s and early 80s. You know? So naturally, because I was handling arts, we got close because he's also a hard person. You know? And I will see that artists will always come and visit him. He has G's that will be writing. I'm very good in writing the language. So I'll be correcting some of the things he was writing. No, we write this, we write it that way, we write it that way. You know? So we got close. So we started going out together. You know? Since I wasn't interested in going home, it's better. The same time you spend at home, you spend at nightclub. You come back, you are fresh. You know more people you meet. He gave me more exposure. One day he fell, he fell somewhere. He broke his arm or something. His name is Azuka Jebose Moloko. And he couldn't come and he couldn't write. So from his home, I started writing stuff for him for that week. So that week and the following week, I deputized for him. And they didn't even know in the office or outside that he was not around. You just know that because my own language is different. You know that this grammar is coming. So I try to be funny and humorous. In the, there's a column very popular. It goes a column called Whispers. So that's how we started. Then one day in 89, just pish, disappeared. Just went to US, you know, with little notice. So they just generally drafted me to Saturday Night Live. And it was like fish inside water. There you have it, Femi Akintunde Johnson. Hip Hop Award Hall of Fame, an incredible guy for an incredible award. Congratulations. Thank you. I dedicate this award to God, who showed himself true to me when I was hopeless, and I became a virtual non-entity. I dedicate this award to my wife, who stood by me through thick and thin, even when she had options and choices, better choices. I dedicate this award to my children, who had no choice but to stand by me, <laughs> who witnessed the transformative power of God in the life of a man given to him. Thank you. Hedy's Hall of Fame. To Obafemi Lasode, born on December 4th, 1955, Mr. Femi Lassade is an audiovisual specialist, musician, and filmmaker who has used his ability and talent to uplift the Nigerian music industry. Although born in the city of Port Harcourt, he comes from Abelkota in Ogun State. Throughout his career, Obafemi Lassade has produced over 250 music videos and was also the executive producer of quite a number of musical shows like Africa and Vogue. He also established Even Ezra Nigeria Limited, a radio and TV production house that provided audio and video support to notable Nigerian artists like Daddy Shoki, Majek Frashek, Sonny Neji, and countless others. He later went on to be the president of the Performing Musicians Association of Nigeria, B-Man, in 2002. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the icon, Obafemi Lasode. I went to Corona School at Sikui. We were one of the original Ajaportas. Before he returned to Nigeria in 1995, Obafemi Lasade worked as a television producer, assistant television director, and editor with WNYE TV in Brooklyn, USA. You know, working with uh, WBLS, I also worked at the Apollo Theatre and I was able to uh, work with them in producing three Nigerian artists at the Apollo Theatre. And I'm very proud to say that the first was Sonny Okosu. My fellow played at the Apollo Theatre. I was a part of it. And then uh, the late Oliver de Kock. Unfortunately, unfortunately, they're all late. <laughs> go! Go! In 1998, Obafemi Lassade produced and directed the epic movie, Shango, the legendary African king.
I remember going to a, a video store in Manhattan and I came across a video game and it was called Shongo. But he was like a wrestler, a ninja. And I was saying that, ah, if children are going to grow up to playing this game, they would think Shongo was a, a ninja or a wrestler. So I think that was actually the turning point. The Hip Hop World Award never fails to give honor to whom it's due. Well, thank you very much. First of all, I want to thank God, His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and of course, the Holy Ghost. Hip Hop World is a success story for every young man and woman in Nigeria today to emulate. So not, this world is not just for me. It's for all the Nigerian musicians out there, for all the artists, for the sculptors, for the painters, for the choreographers, for the dancers, for everybody in the entertainment business. Thank you very much. Hedy's Hall of Fame. Nigerian Juju musician Sar Shino Peters has definitely made his mark on Nigerian music. Born Oluwa Shino Akombi Peters in Ogun State on May 30th, 1958, this talented musician started his career while playing the guitar with General Prince Adekunle. After releasing many albums with Shegu Adekunle through the 1980s, he went on to form his own band, Sar Shino Peters and his international stars. Darshino Peters has several albums to his credit, his first album Ace, and of course the second Shino Mania, and he currently has 16 album releases to his credit. Darshino Peters, also known as SSP, has received numerous awards and several recognition for his unparalleled prowess in the arts of writing, composition, stagecraft, and musical ability. <laughs> With all of these, it's a great pleasure to be giving Sarshina Peters a special recognition award. Let me be honest with you. Since I started at the age of 10, I had no regret. In the first place, it's because of music I left my parents. So I love music. We started our career not for money. That is why we can play 24 hours non-stop. I started rap with Yoruba. I started Abedui, Yoruba, who bought me, Bobo, don't tell me, Kulitakutu, who sell me, who wear, oh, I love, 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 I love, oh, I love, oh, I love, Love you. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, I thank the mighty, mighty. Jehovah Rama, Jehovah Shema, Eloi, Eloi. Thank you, Father. Hedy's Hall of Fame. Revolutionary Fuji musician K1 The Ultimate will spend all of 2014 blessing God and thanking fans as he takes stock of an enduring career that has lasted four decades. People who have believed in and met you. The Fuji Godfather and veteran sat down with Hit TV to talk about the secret of his longevity, the many hurdles and stepping stones, and what tomorrow holds for him. My name is the artist known as K1 The Ultimate. My name is Ola Sokomi and the Marshal. We so have put in over 40 years in music. Um, it's a very big achievement for my person. So everything that you are doing, not very many people agree with you. That is the challenge. They were not haters of you, but those are the challenges you have to face. Like they say, many were called, but few are children. 
heard this for honoring me thank you for honoring Fiji music thank you Hedy's Hall of Fame. So Victor Owaifo is a Nigerian musician, writer, sculptor, and musical instrument inventor. Born in Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria in 1941. His song Jeremy has legendary status among his fans and his performances are characterized by his ability to play the guitar with both his feet and also his tongue. I made the first gold for Africa, we won the first gold. Jeremy. Jeremy. South Victor Owaifa will be receiving the Hedis 2014 Hall of Fame Award. I'm happy to be here and be part of this. The Hedis, Nigeria's biggest and most prestigious music awards, will be holding its ninth edition on the 14th of December 2014 at the prestigious Eco Hotel Center, Victoria Island, Lagos.